This video presents an example that supports the statement, the human race is in a state of de-evolution. According to Happy Theory, the human race is in a state of de-evolution. That basically means the human beings of today are weaker than the human beings of the past. Each new generation of human beings is weaker than the previous generation. According to Happy Theory, the de-evolution of the human race is due to both natural processes and purposeful actions by evil forces. It is natural for everything to degrade or diminish. The sun and the stars will burn out one day. All living creatures will die someday. It is natural for things to start at a high level of energy, like a living creature or a burning star, then move to a lower level of energy, like death for a living creature, or a black hole in the case of a star. The natural processes take place on a relatively slow time scale. It takes millions of years for a star to burn out. It might take centuries for noticeable changes in the human race to appear. The actions taken by evil forces to hasten the de-evolution of the human race take place on a fast time scale. The effects of these actions can be seen in perhaps a century or even a few decades. This video presents an example of the natural de-evolution of the human race. It is natural for human beings to lose knowledge from generation to generation. This loss of knowledge means that the new generation of children will not be as strong as the older generation was. Here is an example picture which shows three Chinese women. There is a grandmother, a mother, and a daughter posing together for a generational photo. What is the main difference between the three women other than their age and relationships? The size of the women is the most obvious difference between the three of them. The grandmother is the shortest of the three of them. The mother is a little bit taller and a little bit larger than the grandmother. The daughter is a little taller and a little larger than the mother. According to Happy Theory, the grandmother is the superior human being among the three women. Her small stature is one of the signs of her superiority. Why is being short a sign of superiority in a human being? According to Happy Theory, the grandmother is short because of her knowledge of and exposure to the principles of Kung Fu and Asian philosophy. The grandmother was exposed to more knowledge about Kung Fu and Asian philosophy, and she implemented that knowledge in her daily life more than the mother and the daughter. According to Happy Theory, the mother is a little bit taller and a little bit larger than the grandmother because the mother was exposed to less Kung Fu and Asian philosophy than the grandmother was. Because the mother was not exposed to as much knowledge of Kung Fu and Asian philosophy, the mother did not live her daily life according to the principles of Kung Fu and Asian philosophy as much as the grandmother did. The body of the daughter reveals that she was exposed to the least amount of Kung Fu and Asian philosophy. The daughter is a little bit taller and a little bit larger than the mother. The daughter looks huge compared to the grandmother. This picture clearly demonstrates the de-evolution of the human race. The increase in size and height of each successive generation of women is undeniable. The reason why knowledge of Kung Fu and Asian philosophy would make a person short is that living a life according to the principles of Kung Fu and Asian philosophy will cause the human body to compress. Because the grandmother was exposed to and lived her life according to the principles of Kung Fu and Asian philosophy the most, her body was subjected to more and stronger compressive forces which made her body the smallest. Because the mother and the daughter did not live their lives according to the principles of Kung Fu and Asian philosophy as much as the grandmother did, the bodies of the mother and daughter were not subjected to the same strength and same amount of compressive forces. Because the bodies of the mother and daughter were not subjected to the same strength and amount of compressive forces as the body of the grandmother was, the bodies of the mother and daughter had the opportunity to grow larger. The picture shows that the bodies of the mother and daughter took advantage of that opportunity. The bodies of both the mother and the daughter took advantage of the fact that they were not subjected to the same strength and amount of compressive forces as the body of the grandmother was. The bodies of both the mother and the daughter grew larger than the body of the grandmother was allowed to grow because the compressive forces on the body of the grandmother caused by her implementation into her daily life of the principles of Kung Fu and Asian philosophy stopped the body of the grandmother from growing any further.